Well, we're getting ready to tear down what's called the key bed. Of course, this is a key and it would sit on you here, so it's kind of like what it sits on. And you can see the uh, this is a pretty ratty condition. Um, the methodology I'm going to employ is I'm going to save one of these and uh, you know as a sample of how thick they were the the mix of spacers and felt same here and here uh, this one is hard to pull off I don't know that I'll do that right this second but I'll kind of scrape it and sand and uh, vacuum it but uh, so let's just go ahead and do that here we're going to come here to this one I'm going to lift up and make sure I have all of the uh, pieces here and so this will go into a, a plastic bag which is front sample okay don't be <coughs> throwing away your old stuff because you may need these spacers if you're short just a hair so now I'm taking See, these would be for the sharps and flat keys, and these would be for the white ones, so they're set differently at different tolerances. This is the rear sample, okay? So that's this one. So now we've set aside rear sample. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing for the center pin. Doesn't really matter which one. We'll go here. Center pin sample. All I have to do is match that specification and uh, that mix when I rebuild. In other words, if my mix of spacers and uh, felt come to uh, this thickness of those guys combined and I'm setting it up the way it was is a good it's a good starting place when you refill okay so I now have three I have the center pin this and this okay now another thing I want you to see and this is kind of a little bit of a weird thing you can see that some of these pins are twisted to the right and some of them are more straight and what's going on is that as the felt in the bottom of this key because that's what these sit on as the felt wore instead of refelting it the easiest thing to do is you just take one of these and twist it and it just it like makes them wider a little it's not ideal but people do it and they're made to be able to do it but it's not doing the job 100% right so there's a lot of them here that have twists I've never seen a, a piano with so many but you know, the felts are old, and I have different thickness felts to put into the key stick back here. So, you know, I can, I can make it fit correctly when I refelt them. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to throw all of the, uh, these other felts into a bag and save them. I don't throw anything away. I may need those for something, like I might be short a couple of spacers, you know, like these things down here, these paper spacers, and sometimes you'll run low on a certain size and you may have to get into your old stock to use it. So, uh, you know, do that. Try to be very careful when you're removing these that you don't scrape the pen. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and just tear all this stuff out. And you can uh, see it. I'll just kind of talk to you while I'm doing it. I usually wear a light on my head, this thing. So I've got light exactly where I want it. So I've got here's one, two. These look about 60 years old to me. I know the piano had been reworked a couple times in its life, I believe. One guy signed it. 
did not, again, 1883 Steinway. That's one of the older Steinways. But you know, they're built about the same as a modern one, or at least in the 1900s. And I haven't torn apart a brand new one. So I'm really not sure. <clears throat> so I'll just get in here very gently. Try not to scratch the pin with the little tool here. I can't get them up without getting something under them. So, uh, See, some of them are quite thick, and some of them are much thinner. They come in a packet. It's a, a kit of spacers, and uh, they'll come in different colors, blue and white and pink, and each one's a little different thickness as you go to do your very fine tuning. But what I find is if I set them all uniformly, that normally, I'll be pretty close to that when I'm all done. And that's why I kept the sample in the bag there. So you can see this goes pretty quickly. Those pins just twist in the wood. You can put some tape on a wrench and <clears throat> turn them pretty easily. So the turning of them normally doesn't ruin anything. These metal pins, they'll be polished out. I haven't ever seen any that were this corroded either. So the older pianos, you're gonna see some rougher condition stuff. Although overall this unit is pretty good. bed, of course, is just wood. It's probably maple. Could be oak. Certainly not pine. Pretty nice. So. Let me see what that would look like when it was new. Pretty good. First time I did one of these was in 1923, and I kept all these in order on a shelf. And, and the dog somehow hit them with his tail. And they kind of got mixed up, and I realized I didn't really have any need to know what each one was because they were all about the same fitting height anyway. You know. As far as the idea of reusing the felts, don't you'll, you will not get the same feel as new felt. These are meant to be thrown away like anything else on machines that wears and needs to be really just replaced. It's not something that you clean on and reuse on, you throw them away, because the new felt has a buoyancy to it that the old felt does not. Now, whether if you use conditioners on it and iron them and everything else, I think what you have is a very short-lived buoyancy. <clears throat> so that's that one. 